What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix, being their Transformers Revenge of the Fallen movie toy review. This time of the Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen movie scout, Dune Runner! Dune Runner, just like the first movie, Landmine, is a dune buggy. A very nice one. The amount of detail in this is very nice. He comes with two little uh, machine guns that actually do have little pivots and everything so you can move them around, make them taller, everything, which is very nice. He has a very nice Autobot symbol right there in silver. What's really cool is the amount of detail that's inside here. You see he has a steering wheel and dashboard. His arms form to become seeds. He has a really nice Autobot 0318. Very nice tail light detail. And he rolls really, really well. Just going to the beats, picking up some girls. I'm looking for girls. Oh crap, the Decepticon! The Transform Dune Runner, it's really easy. You want to pull out his machine guns right here. And what you want to do is pull out the arms like so. Pull them out. Here, you can see that. You want to bring the little front uh, windshield. To fold that in like that. Well, but first, pull out his head right here. His really nice head. Pull that out. Then you want to separate the legs, but make sure that you rotate his waist 180 degrees. Then now what you're going to do is bring his feet forward, like so, and then pull out the heels right here. Do the same for the other side. Pull out the pull out the heels. There we go. I'll fold in his guns and then bring them to the side. They will become shoulder cannons. Bring them to the side. Position his arms and straighten them. And there you got Dune Runner in his robot mode. Now this guy has some really nice detail. Very nice blue painted eyes. Um, of course, this silver Autobot logo, really nice detail all around. Definitely, just like if you like the first movie Landmine, you'll love this guy. And he has the double shoulder cannon, so it's really cool. I really like um, all the amount of detail you have in this guy. It's really nice how the wheels are in the back here, and they don't even form like a big backpack. It's just it's really nice and compact in this mode. For articulations, Dune Runner's head can rotate 360 degrees as well as go up and down it's on the ball joint. His arms can rotate 360 degrees. They also can go in and out. They bend at two points at the elbow here. Um, he does have waist articulation, which is really nice. Uh, he has legs going forward, back, in and out, bend at the knee, and his feet can pivot. So he has a great deal of posability. Hey, pretty kitty, I'm the only one looking for girls. I'm the Doom Buggy. Size comparison time. So here you can see Dune Runner is a little smaller than Deluxe. Uh, you can see him next to MC Paddington that he's smaller than him. He's a little bit taller than Legend Class. You see him with Optimus Prime there. I don't really buy Scout figures, but Dune Runner is a must-have. He really has a great alt mode, a great robot mode, great posability, um, just really fun to transform, and I just strongly recommend him. He is definitely a Scout that you must get. I really like this guy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like, and this is Sean Long, rolling out. Oh, <laughs>